This is a very cute. Welcome back to Mumbo's Collectos. Today we're having a product review on the mini brands Books and Sneakers. They've also just released the mini brands Fashion Series 3, but since I'm still unbowling Fashion Series 2, keep a lookout because I will move on to Fashion Series 3 once I've finished with Series 2. These, on the other hand, are brand new collections. I'll be honest, this books one I wasn't very thrilled about, but this was the very last ball that they had. The cartons of these ones were completely empty otherwise. These ones are miniature books with real readable pages. So maybe, since this was the very last ball that I could find, maybe these ones are really popular. We'll find out once I unball these. These sneakers ones, on the other hand, I am quite excited to unball. I guess because it's related closely to the fashion one, which I already quite like. As you can see, I have already weighed these. This one's 54 grams and this one's 72 grams. Let's unball these and see what we get. Unballing time. And this one is 54 grams. Let's go. Here's the booklet. Looks like there are 40 minis to collect. Then we have common books, which there's quite a lot there. There are some bookmarks. Then we've got the legendary book to collect, which is a Goosebumps one. So that must be very hard to find. We've got the iconic one, which is probably also very hard to find. I think that says Stranger Things. Three luxury books. Then we have ultra rares and a whole bunch of rare ones. And it looks like there are four bags to open, so four books per bowl. Okay, so first impression, it is very good quality. And as you can see, you can read the words. My early home. The first place that I can well remember was a large pleasant meadow with a pond of clear water in it. Hopefully you can see that. Looks like the only readable pages go up to page four, which isn't many. And then the rest here are all gobbledygook. And that's probably for a licensing royalty issue. Because as you can imagine, that would be a lot of uh, books since there's 40 in the set to collect and that would be a lot of royalties that they'd have to pay. But as a collectible, I am very impressed. It's very good quality. Let's go to the next book. Book two. Stranger Things. Okay, is this the legendary one? Are you kidding me? False alarm. This is part of the common. You can see it is this one right there. But still, even this one, great quality. And this one's only legible from page one because the rest is gobbledygook. We have Mad Libs. Okay, this one looks like the whole book is actually legible. So maybe this one they don't have to pay as many royalty fees on. And the last one, Roald Dahl Matilda. I think everybody has read this book, haven't they? This one as well. Basically, page one is legible and the rest of it is gobbledygook. Let's unbolt mini brand sneakers. This is 72 grams. The weights won't really make any difference right now, but if I do decide to unball more of these in the series, they might actually help finding the ones you want later. Let's go. Here's the sneakers booklet. This one has 30 to collect. These look like all the common hats you can get. And they also have stickers. And then, of course, the ultra rare items and more of the common shoes, which there are quite a lot of. 
So first up, there are two stickers, a Rebox one and a Rebox shirt. Oh, that's nice how they put it in a plastic cover to protect the hat. So Rebox. I thought you might be able to actually unpin that, but no, you can't. But still, the level of detail, very good. Rebox. So I wonder if Rebox is a sponsor <laughs> for this brand. Probably is. This is a very cute. And here's the shoe. Wow, look at that detail. And you can actually move the tongue of the shoe. And here's the other one. Basically, same deal, just the other version. Definitely better quality than your average Barbie shoe. And here's the close-up shot. No surprises. In the books, I got three commons and one ultra rare. This one's the ultra rare and of course it should be an ultra rare because it looks the best in the sneakers they only have commons and ultra rares all the ultra rares are the gold edition so of course everything here i got were commons and what are my final thoughts on both of these sets well i have to say i'm quite surprised with the books they are very good quality very well made Probably no surprise because, you know, they're just big books that have been shrunk down to normal size. It is good how there are readable pages, but, you know, it's only like one or two pages that are readable and then the rest are all gobbledygook, as I said, probably for licensing issues. The sneakers, yeah, they're still good. They're probably much better than, say, typical Barbie accessories that you can get. Unfortunately, the shoes I got were white, so very plain design. Whereas if you got some of these other designs here with some other colours and just some more interesting things going on, that would be more fun to collect. I really like how the shoes come in their own shoe box. Like, that's very cool. And it is good how in both collections you get four items each. So here you get four books. And here looks like you're always going to get one hat, one pair of shoes, and two sneakers. Will I keep collecting all these? You know what? I probably will collect the books because they are very cute. Maybe I will collect a couple more balls of the sneakers just to see what the sneakers are like with more colors and the more designy ones. Yeah, I might pick up a couple more balls, but I'm not sure if I'll try and aim to collect the whole set. I am really looking forward to the Mini Fashion Series 3, but as I said, I need to finish unbowling Series 2 first. So until then, I probably will unbowl a few more of these balls. Which one is your favourite? Do you collect the Mini Brands books? Or are you into the sneaker sets? Leave me a comment below to let me know. So that's the end of another video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please do consider liking and subscribing because it really helps the channel out and helps me to keep making more of these videos for you. Until the next one, happy hunting! Woohoo! <laughs>